Hello there, everybody. What's up? Guess what I'm doing. Oh, that sound. That's your producer name, right? My producer tag. Tag. Well, my producer name is. How the fuck would you write that? Like. C- I, I, I always thought that was your name. That's oh, your tag, like your ad lib. Yeah, like you know, like yeah. MMA back music. Yeah. Like mine would be. Hang on. That's good though. Yeah. Mine would it's just iconic. be iconic. You can. Yeah, my name will be C O K K K. I don't know how else to write that shit. Anyway, <laughs> um, we're doing another unknown artist segment because we have a lot of you Patreons supporting us. Thank you. For those who don't know, we're Jungle Beats. We review and react to music from all around the world. My name is OJ Easy. My name is OJ S- Sandalis. <laughs> Can't call me my name. Be more creative, bro. Um, Fuck. So for those who don't know, we do a lot of these unknown artist segments mm-hmm. to put unknown artists on the map. Because that's what we motherfucking do. We've got a new one from who supports us on Patreon. Jacob. Hudson Bueller. Sounds German. He's from Helena, Montana. Close. <laughs> <laughs> Very odd, I know. Haha. Ha. Where is Helena? Can you look it up? Montana? No, no, I don't think he means Montana in the US. Why would he give us his suburb? Let's have a look. I, I was going to, but I don't have my phone in me. It's charging. I'll just pull out my imaginary phone. Oh my God. It'd be funny if he was in, from Germany. Then who'd be laughing now? Oh, no. What? Helen is the state capital of the US state. In Montana. Montana. Yeah, that's what I said. Well, fuck, I just need a check, oh, bro. Fuck, did, you gotta let did you know you're expert in geography? I thought you knew you US took my life job to have geography in fucking year 11. He uh, has been a fan of our channel for quite a few months now and always Namaste. a fan of unknown artist videos you guys do, so I thought I'd submit my own. Though I've only made music for a few months now. I'm curious as to what you guys think. Love your content you put out, and I'm looking forward to your channel growing immensely. Keep Hell killing yeah. it. Thank you, man. I hope that we don't tear up in a new, new arsehole for you. Much love, Hatsy the Wheezy Wizard. Is that his name? His Apparently. rap name? The Here Wheezy Wizard? How do you spell that? You know what? doesn't matter. No, it does. I need to know how it's spelled. Let's play this music. Hatsy, bottom of the reef with my veins filled with dope. That's a dope fucking track name. Let's get it. It's a bit long. What do you mean? It's quite long. Is it eight minutes? It's 50. What? I'm at the title. Oh, what? Let's talk about the good first. The production is great. All right, here we go. For a beat that good, y'all can't waste it. You got to go back, delete everything, everything you wrapped. He said delete everything. Everything. Everything, <laughs> everything you wrapped. Damn. You are off beat like 80% of this track, man. I'm sorry. Like, and he's damn. I don't, I mean, everyone has their own uh, tone of rapping and delivery style. I don't particularly, I'm not particularly fond of it. I didn't particularly enjoy it. It was quite rough to me. And it sounded like you were short of breath most of the time as well. Like when you're rapping, I, it really sounds to me like you were trying to like really like say too much because you, you really sounded short of breath a lot of the time. And um, I don't know how you just didn't play this for someone and then tell you that you were off beat. Like it's not a bad thing. Like you, like I said, you're starting rapping. So yeah, the fact that you found production like this is amazing, man. Yeah, yeah. And, but, yeah, man, most of this track, you were constantly offbeat, and it just, it was really hard to, like, like this track. 
Like, honestly, I, I think just keep trying to focus. Get get a friend. Get friends to help you, like, you know, get more of a melody and this sort of stuff. And then once you can figure out how to sort of fit to this beat better, re-record this whole track. Don't waste this beat. I'd, I'd re-release this track when, you, when you've known how to stay on the beat better. Okay. That's all I got to say. Let's go to the second one before I, before I say anything else. Mm. Chain Smoking by The Creek, produced by Dexter. Mm. Okay. Is that you give gobbies? I give my ears. <laughs> Grapefruit technique. Show me later. <laughs> <laughs> Got a grapefruit? Demons are knocking at the door, they always want more. Bought a couple back ones at the corner stores. Send me the hair with 72 holes. Emotions pours from the open source and tore up my brain and leave you with blood stains. My brain is off beat the whole time. I'm sorry to pause it, but it's like he's not even considering the flow of the beat behind him. Like the 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 Cadence of the beat. There's no pause. There's no pause. It's just. Do you see what I say when it sounds like you're short of breath? Like, listen to it. Like, even if it's like. like you got some good lines, though. All I see is Lucy. All I see is Lucy. I think he's talking about the song. Honest, Whoa! Oh, oh. It's not passion though. It's not passion. We're not there. Pros. The wordplay and the storytelling at some elements of this song were good. Yeah, you have certain lines and bars where, you know, I'm sitting there going, oh, that's actually a good line. Mm, that's interesting. Oh, catch that. It's just the delivery. You don't have one. And I'm not saying that to be a dick. You just generally, you just, you're just not on beat. I don't know if you're recording. I, I think it's about your structuring. Every, every artist that records has a different structuring. Like I've got people that prefer humming to a beat first to get a melody and then they write to that melody. I can't you? I people I know friends that um that write first. They write everything pre beforehand and then when they get a beat, they put those words to the beat. It sounds that like you've written everything beforehand and then when the beat kicks in, you're just reading it without giving a fuck what the beat is. Mm. Or maybe if you are maybe you are generally trying to stay on the beat, but you you're you're barely on the beat at all. It's like no no when the beat kicks in, you're on it then. But then after that it's it. So how do we how do you teach someone to rap on beat? Just practice? Just practice, man. Just like, every, like get feedback, practice. Because like some people, like everything, man, some things, some people are natural and some people just need to really practice. Like, um, I'm going to use a good example. You know, remember Scott? When he first started rapping, he, he didn't stay on beat very well at all. Like, not at all. But now, listen to his music now, he stays on beat nearly all the time. So, just with practice, man. And just, just surround yourself with good people. Try and get like a few friends to show their music to that know that aren't going to be too, that they can be critical but without being too much of a dick. Unlike me. Like, I, I think you just need to find something that works for you. I honestly think try, listen to a beat and try like just forming melodies and just like, don't even, you can just rap about anything. Just be like, go on and do it about them. Just like find melodies and then write to that melody so that you can fit and practice really sticking to a beat. Listen to it. Get other people to listen to it. Like if you can, I just think that's a good way to start. Because I know this is the first stuff you've done. And you found some production really works for you. I don't think the first track was a lot better, but yeah, man, you, you really can't stick to a beat. All right, man. Hopefully you can do something with that information. Hopefully there's some of that you can use and take to make you better. Got some snakes on me produced by Toom. Where's my spell book? This is Harry. We're going to go to Hogwarts in this. Harry Potter! Are fucking pleased about it? It's fucking flying though. Speaking in riddles hot like a griddle, there's two witches wizard in the metal staff like a missile. Don't be so far. It's the best one so far. So what the fuck is he rapping about? Wizardry stuff. <laughs> Just 
the best bait though, man. This bait's, this bait's good. He's right. The delivery is on beat and the cadence is much better. You are correct. I've, I've, honestly, I don't care about what you're rapping about. Wizards. I get your name. I get it. It's that You sound like you're rapping about Harry Potter and, and just like wizards and spells and like, I don't care. But maybe it's a metaphor for something that I don't understand. Why don't you care? I think it's a, it's a fun track. A lot of people do tracks where they just make a play on words. Yeah, I just don't particularly care for that concept. For, for, for that theme he's exploring. Cold-blooded. See, I'd be interested... I'm, honest. I'm a big nerd, so I'd be more interested in a track like this. Than, it was really nice... But it's he, not like he's making... I don't see any references to pop culture. Or maybe I need to listen to it a couple more times. I enjoyed this track a lot more from you. I thought that you were a lot more on beat. Like, compared to the first two tracks, yeah. you were so much more on beat here, man. Yeah. So he can do it. He's not... But, um... But... Yeah. Once again, your, your voice sounds like sort of short of breath. I, don't, I think you need to really, like you have a lot to work on as a new artist. Yeah, we all do. I just feel like you need to find a voice because to me, your voice isn't that, a, isn't that appealing. I feel like as much as finding a sound, finding a flow, you need to find a voice. So yeah. look, man, I believe. I believe in any, I believe with practice, you can do fucking anything. So if you can, I can focus on those three things to begin with. Just keep practicing, man. And it'd be good to see some progress. Well said. But yeah, man, as long as you're finding good production, though, you still got it in there, man. Um, yeah. Thank you for supporting us. I hope that what you take, what we've set on board to you, you take on board as, a, as positive. And uh, yeah, man, we'll always keep supporting you if you keep supporting us. And yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, man. Hatsy. Hatsy. Thank you, man. <laughs> you're so done. <laughs> you're so done. <laughs> Yes, I was done one track ago. Yeah. You cold-blooded, bro. Not really. I've been busting the piss the past, man. I've been drinking water, coffee, coke. Fuck me, man. Uh, if you want to join our... Fuck, i got to piss. You want to join our Patreon? Go on, Patreon. I'm keep a recording and you can hear me piss, okay? Uh... Tell, tell them, man. Tell them about the Patreon. Man, they don't even... They're gone, man. No one's watching. Are you tell them, man. watching anymore, bro? Bro, you ain't even watching. See, coke, man. Here's the thing about coke. It says no sugar, right? No sugar. Let's have a look. And it's a very low calorie drink. Like, look at that. It's fucking one calorie for this whole thing. So you think, man, no calories, no sugar. But what are the chemicals are they putting in here in that to replace the no sugar to get that taste? What type of fucking wizardry chemicals to have Coca-Cola? Look, food acids, sweeteners. Coloring dyes. Having one of these every day, man. Shit. You might turn into a fucking Futurama monster. You don't even know. There's no fucking longitudinal studies on these and what the... It smells super strong, too. I don't know how people drink this shit. I mean, just like... I can't even fucking stomach it. I just feel weird. I feel like... Oh, that's super strong. You might call me a bitch. I might call you a fucking witch. Jungle Beats.